So now you've got to the point from, you know, playing Pokemon on an Exeter railway station. Have you just not sold out Wembley for how many nights is it? Three, three nights. Just you, in time. front of a crowd of 80, 90,000? Around that, yeah. Does that make you nervous? Uh, I was more nervous about today, doing the lap. <laughs> <laughs> genuinely, genuinely. Because, I mean, your whole life is... Uh, you meet, obviously, you've met De Niro now, yeah? Clinton. Yeah. And then yeah. today you met James May. Yeah. <laughs> completed the circle. <laughs> Can I just talk a little bit about your early life before we get onto the cars that we made? Because I was just, I was slightly staggered. But you had a, a number of illnesses when you were little. Not just your hair. <laughs> 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 uh, Glaucoma? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it probably could have led to that. I had a big birthmark on the side of my face that I had to get lasered off. And weird eyes. So I wore glasses. Weird eyes. And then you had to play sports wearing some weird... Yeah. Well, my, my view on it is I was a very weird kid in primary school and I probably didn't have a lot of friends, but... I think God looked down and went, you need some help, and then gave me a guitar, and <laughs> worked out. <laughs> and here you are. Yeah, Good old my, God. Because the, the second half of my life is much more fun than the first half, and I'd rather that way around, because half of the popular kids in school... I mean, you know, you know. <laughs> their lives up. <laughs> now, we've got to get on, I'm afraid, to the elephant in the room. Yes. Um, Ed can't drive. <laughs> And I don't just mean you have no driving licence. We've had that before, OK, with Johnny Vegas and Jack Whitehall more recently. But you, how much can't you drive, or how much couldn't you drive before you got here today? Before today, I had never sat in a driver's seat or put my hand in the seat. Never. The reason I said yes to Top Gear is that I thought it would be funny the first time that I drive. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, this is, must be the first ever televised driving lesson. <laughs> I think, like, so many 17-year-olds around the world would want the stig to teach them how to drive, and that's... It, I, ju I, ju I think it is very, very ballsy to come here and say, yeah. oh, I don't mind being filmed for my first ever lap. <laughs> um, you have actually bought cars for... For people. ..sound engineers and so on. Yeah, I bought... Yeah, I bought... I bought... I basically, every year, give people who work for me a Christmas bonus, and this guy who works for me, was basically every year spending his Christmas bonus on things you should spend your Christmas bonus on, which is his family. But he would always go on about wanting a Porsche 911 Carrera, and he'd be like, oh, that's my dream car, if I could just do that. But, you know, I'm doing up the bathroom next, I'm doing up this. So this year, I just, I, I just got him the Porsche. And, yeah. You bought him a 911? Yeah. Carrera? Yeah. But is, didn't you buy another sound engineer a smart, a smart car? Oh, no, yeah, no, I bought my guitar tech a, uh, a smart car. But that, that, what's that was another... Wrong? That, no, <laughs> but, how does he feel going, oh, brilliant? <laughs> I, see, I see these people day in and day out, and they always talk about their, the thing that they want most. He's and got just really it. low ambition. <laughs> we need to have a word with him. Are you sure he's doing your guitars properly? Because if he thinks a smart's a good enough car, well, he could have said that in 9-11. It's uh, different strokes for different folks. Eat though, it. Like... You're right. Now, I'm just moving on to your lap. How was it out there? It was interesting. It was interesting. <laughs> I, 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 had some, I had some very funny bloopers, which I'm sure you're going to show. <laughs> we wouldn't do that. <laughs> yes, we would. Yeah. Who'd like to see Ed's first ever driving lesson on television? Yeah. We've got one or two clips we'd like to show for you first of a few slip-ups. Let's have a look at those. So this is... Whoa, that's the second to last corner, but you missed that by <laughs> that a long great. way there. That looks great. Whoa, my God, is that the follow? Th that's the go through the tyres. You're not going to hold it. You did! That's incredible. Ah! Not again, not again on the follow through. The sign! <laughs> What is, staggers me about that is when the car is sliding, particularly going through there, which is about 80 miles an hour, so it's sliding like that, most people just give up. If they don't, but you actually were wrestling with the controls in there. Um, that, wasn't, that wasn't planned, though. I, I just couldn't... <laughs> I didn't know to take my foot off the acceleration. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, like you just kept it off. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't, like, I wasn't like, oh, I'm going to, like sort this out and show everyone that I'm really good at driving. It was literally just like... Oh. <laughs> How do you yeah. actually walk about when they're that big? <laughs> well, shall we have a look at the fastest lap? Everybody ready? Yeah. Let's play the tape. Come on. Here we go. Yes, wheel spin from an automatic. Oh, it is wet, isn't it? Yep. Come on. <laughs> 
It will, and here it comes down to the first corner and around it. I still can't believe that you had never driven a car before this morning. And you're around, it's wide, but never mind, we're off towards Chicago now. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> like it, neat and tidy through there, no real problems at all. And with tyre, yes, the tyres are squealing. <laughs> Surprise, keep your hands on the wheel, that is important. And this is the hammerhead, designed to catch out the unwary and the new. But it hasn't got you! Right, now this is it. This is coming up to what we call the follow-through, because if you get it wrong, that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> lifting? No, he's not lifting. Nobody's ever had tyre squeal on their first ever driving lesson. <laughs> Through the tyres, can we do this? Yes, looking good. Oh, crikey, little bit of brake action there, or well, that could be automatic on the car's part. Second to last corner catches most people out, but not you, not today. Into Gambon, and oh, there was a burst of acceleration, and there we are across the line. Yeah. Right, it's a now. It's slower than it felt. Like, it, it looks. It does. Yeah. It does. It's not a fast car. There are faster ones available on the market. <laughs> when do you think you've come on our. As long board? as I beat Jack Whitehall, I'm happy. Two things. Uh, one, Jack had driven a car before he got here, although he had no licence. And well, the track was what we call mildly moist for him, barely wet. No, it was very wet for you, so that obviously slows you down. Um, all right, so he did a 154.5. And you, Ed Sheeran, you were one. Fifty-four-three. Oh. You've done it. Are you wet? You've done it. Yeah. That is, are you genuinely amazed by that? Because I am. Um, I guess so, but it just like that one was the best time that I did it, and the times before that were probably about two minutes thirty. So. Um... <laughs> Well, with that level of improvement, we should just give Ed a driving licence now. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Ed Sheeran! Yeah.